seem like, I mean, you're pretty, like, your passion, you're really good, it's almost like you were angry when they were trying to stop you, like, almost like a bad um, I don't know. I mean, I just try to always play the game and read the game the right way throughout the course of the 48 minutes. But um, I just had a mindset of uh, just trying to close this trip off the right way. Um, you know, we had, you know, two, um, you know, two tough losses, you know, on, on this road trip. But um, the last two games we played extremely well and just wanted to close it off the right way. <clears throat> Where does the, the uh, reverse off from Dennis Ryan? Um, I have no idea, um, but it's always good to get out on a break. And, um, you know, Diaz set it up. Um, you know, the pass always makes for great uh, great highlights, and I was able to uh, to bring it home in, in fashion. But uh, it started with Troy actually getting back and uh, getting a tip from behind, and then we got out on a break. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, you know, last year's last year. Obviously, I found a good groove last year, but this year is this year as well. So I just feel really good. And, and you know, every facet of my game, obviously, I haven't shot the three ball well, but I still feel good when I'm when I'm taking them. Um, you know, my in between, my mid range game is uh, feel it, you know, um, as, as best as been um, throughout this season, obviously. And I've, I've always been pretty efficient at the rim. So, um, you know, it's, it's always a blessing for me just to be able to be out there, you know, with the guys and, and, and try to make plays happen in order for us to win ball games. And tonight was another another moment for that. Obviously, I don't know, uh, you know, what happened. I've seen the play, but I don't know exactly what happened. Uh, my, my thoughts and, and super prayers goes up to the skies above uh, for that kid's family, for him, um, for, you know, that brotherhood of the NFL and everybody a part of the NFL family. Um, it's definitely the right call by either whoever made that call, Roger, Roger Goodell, or whoever had an opportunity, the, the authority to make that call to suspend that. Uh, the safety of our of players in, in all sports is always the most important. So, um, you know, it's a, it's a, it was a terrible thing to see, um, and, and I wish uh, um, you know nothing but the best for that kid, um, uh, for the city uh, of Buffalo, for the franchise of the Bills. Um, and like I said, for the rest of the NFL too, as well, and also the Bengals that was there, um, and, you know, playing in that game. So I'm a, I'm a huge fan of the NFL. I'm a huge fan of football, and you know, you you never want to see anything like that happen, um, even in that the type of competition that they're playing in. Well, I haven't seen the clips of the game yet, but obviously a guy had to be on fire. Um, you know, that's tough. I mean, you know, we play in a game where, uh, you know, a lot of guys always talk about getting buckets, you know, and, and you know, who's some of the best guys that can, you know, put the ball in the hole. And obviously uh, tonight uh, Donovan showed that he, um, he's one of the, you know, the best in our league to be able to, you know, put up. I mean, anytime you put up 70 or 60, 50s, 40s, um, you know, you, you're, you're extremely, extremely uh, gifted at what you do. So um, that's definitely something he will never forget. Um, his, his family will never forget. That's, that's, that's pretty cool. You never get too high, you never get too low, especially when you put the work in. Um, you know, it's just, and then you always have another opportunity a couple of days later, maybe a day later, or, you know, maybe a week later to uh, be able to change, 
you know, the narrative of maybe just yourself, you know, you know, obviously, you know, he could have played a lot better and just had a couple of games where he, he didn't play to his ability, to his own personal goals. And, um, you know, tonight was um, the complete opposite and we needed everything from him. He's such a big part of our team um, and he was uh, he was great once again. Let's talk to Austin about you know, him trying to learn. And we'll talk to you a little bit about this, but the rigors of the NBA season. I mean, if you, you put it on a perspective by AR start of his career, he when he was drafted, he wasn't I don't think he was drafted to be in the position that he was in thrown into last year. I think. Yeah, I mean, he was a undrafted. He's an undrafted guy. I mean, so, you know, he, he had to earn his stripes and, you know, he didn't think that he was going to be thrown into the rotation when he was thrown into the rotation and not only thrown into the rotation, then became a huge part of our rotation and then became someone that we just we trusted to the point where he had a game winner in Dallas, you know, and, and now he's just he's a staple of everything that we do, you know, um, you know, so, you know, the games is just are, are piling up and, and, you know, it's the best way to. Handle that. Just try to get as much sleep as you can, and, and, and recover, and, and getting, you know, treating your body, and you know, understanding how much of a tempo it is, and you know, it's a lot. I mean, it's a lot for anybody, you know, especially coming out of college, you know. So um, he's handled like a true professional, and um, he's, he's only going to continue to get better and better, not only um, physically, but but also more importantly mentally. Last question: How would you compare and contrast the art or the degree of difficulty? Thirty-eight versus say eighteen or twenty-two or twenty-three. Um. Well, the difference between thirty-eight and eighteen and twenty. You at eighteen and twenty, you're just doing it off just straight up, just energy and just straight, just skill. You just like I'm gonna just go out here and just just play free and just jump all over the place. I know I'm more athletic than everybody. Um, I know I'm faster than everybody, um, and I'm just you know. Whatever happens, just let's go out and just play free. Um, well, at 38, for me, it's, it's the mental. You know, it's the mental side. It's the, uh, you know, how much rest I can get from day to day and get my optimal sleep and making sure I get the right food in me and treating my body and get my body right and things of that nature. So it's, um, you know, I don't think at, at 18 you had to worry about getting eight or nine hours of sleep at night. You know, you have to worry about, making sure that you was, you know, doing everything that you need to do to be ready. You can really just, you know, go out and not stretch and, you know, and uh, and just be at, your, be at the highest level. Not saying I never did that because I've always been on top of my my body. But, you know, it's just always about um, giving back to the game and treating the game the right way because the, the game guys all, will always pay you back if you just always give and commit to the game the right way. And uh, I'm just try I'm still trying to do this at this point in my career.